We're going to have a quick look at how to select food forest plants using the Plants for Future database. So I'm now on the home page. So if I scroll down, you can close all sections or just choose a selection you don't want. And under special uses, you have a, a food forest tag. So we've list, listed in here a lot of the, the common food forest plants that people are using. And we have, we have probably about 95% of the plants that are used in the excellent books, Edible Forest Garden by David Jack and Creating a Food Forest by Martin Crawford. So once you've selected it, you can scroll down and just do a search. This now lists all the food forest plants. Selecting one of the plants gives a lot more information, including images, the edibility rating, or the uses rating potential, medicinal rating, care. If you hover over the care icons you can see you get a little bit more information. And again if you hover over the item you get more information. As you would expect because it's a food forest plant we have a food forest item tagged. For more detailed search, so I will close these again. We still have food forest tagged. So I scroll down and I now might, for example, want to choose a shrub, a perennial or a tree. So maybe I'll choose a shrub in this case. And you've got other criteria you can select by. If it's deciduous or evergreen, the height, Tend to, you tend to want to with height to just choose say one of these items otherwise the results are a bit confusing. The width, hardiness, UK and USD so you might want to select which zone you're in. You've also got soil type, pH, shade so at the moment we don't want shade for this plant the moisture, wind and so on. Once you've made those selections you can do a search. I also want in this case to have a very edible plant. So I'll go back to the top and under edible rating I'll also choose 4 and 5 and scroll down. So now we have the, the plants the habit, in this case we chose shrub, the hardiness zones within the range that we chose, I think it was 6, 7 and 8, um, the shade and the edibility rating. Click on the plant, gives you a lot more information, including images, the ratings, the care, more information, the edible parts. And other uses and special uses. If a plant is a nitrogen fixer it will also appear in here. 